असलम वेलकम टू माई YouTube family to your own channel which is Gul Knowledge Hub. Today we are going to discuss how to build unshakable confidence in English. Yes, dear audience, I am going to share three daily habits that will transform your English and your life by building a unshakable confidence in your life. So. because i have observed that those persons who have confidence can cover their mistakes even the biggest mistakes are ignored by the people if they have confidence but the people who lack confidence even the slightest mistakes they are observed by the people and often they are mocked or ridiculed by those people so how to build this confidence because this confidence is reflected through your eyes through your face through your body language but i am not stressing how to build your confidence through body language no in this video i am not talking about body language or the facial expressions but i am going to talk about a mindset you have to acquire a strong and powerful mindset to build confidence while speaking while learning english language in this way you will be a better communicator yes dear audience but what is that mindset how to achieve that mindset and how to get confidence in our second language that is called english learning so because dear audience as you know that english is not our mother tongue it is a second language and we commit a lot of mistakes in second language that is called english but if we have confidence we can cover all these mistakes by our confidence because confidence is the most powerful weapon in the hand of a english speaker but if we are not equipped with this weapon of confidence we are often left with nothing what we want to communicate we can't communicate if we want to share our ideas and information in an effective way if we don't have that confidence we are in a stressful situation and often we are left with frustration depression anxiety and we are left with hopelessness yes this is the condition of every english learner if he don't have that confidence then he is easily prey a victim to hopelessness so what how we can get this confidence first of all for all those who don't know what is mindset i will define first of all what is mindset and how mindset perceives the world and how mindset perceives the english language and how it influences your english journey then i will discuss three habits three daily habits by which you can incorporate and inculcate confidence into your english life yes dear audience this important video is going to be super important for all the english learners who are still lacking confidence because you have might observed that there are many students in a class but and there are many hard working students who have all the knowledge of the book they know all the question they understand all the questions of the book but when teacher asks a question due to lack of confidence they don't answer properly and the students who have confidence enough they speak in a fluent manner and they give the answer in a proper shape that's why we see many speakers and there are many persons in the class who stand out by their performance due to confidence and there are many students who despite of having knowledge who despite of being hard working they left they are left behind due to lack of confidence so confidence is the important element in your journey of second language when you are learning english language because sometimes we commit many mistakes as i gracefully accept this reality that i make mistakes sometimes but 
I want to cover that mist those mistakes with my confidence. But how to build that confidence? This is the major question. You can cover your mistakes by your body language, but I am not talking about body language here. I am talking about your mindset. First of all, what is mindset? Mindset is a set of beliefs. Is a set of beliefs. Those beliefs. With the help of those beliefs, we perceive the world. Yes, it is a set of beliefs through which we perceive the English language. Now, what are our beliefs? That is called mindset in our society. That English is a second language. We can't be competent in English language. We have to hire a teacher. We have to join online classes. We have to equip ourselves with a lot of resources so that we can be a fluent English speaker. These are beliefs, and these beliefs are in fact the mindset of the people. And it is this mindset which decides that either we are going to be a successful English speaker or we are not going to be a successful English speaker. Either we meet the failure or either we can achieve our target of speaking English fluently. So, have you understood the concept of mindset? Mindset is a set of beliefs through which we see the world, through which we see the English language. And if we have a strong mindset, strong beliefs, we can easily overcome all the difficulties, all the hurdles and all the mistakes in our English journey. So the very first habit which we have to inculcate into your daily life and you can easily can do this habit is that gratitude journaling. Yes, dear audience, the first daily habit which you have to inculcate into your daily life to build confidence, unshakable confidence into your English life is gratitude journaling. You might have observed that, that we are often consumed with the wrong things that I can't do this, I can't do that, I am, I am not capable of doing anything, I can't succeed in this English journey. I am not a native speaker, so how can I speak English? These are the wrong things, these are the wrong beliefs. But we should have to inculcate a gratitude journal. I invite you, all of my subscribers, because this is very important point. I invite all of my subscribers to spend 5 to 10 minutes to write down gratitude journal. And you have to write a about your abilities in 5 to 10 lines yes dear audience and the things which you can achieve by English language and the things are the state which you have achieved through the through English language for example I have achieved and I will write down my gratitude journal as I have achieved this status of opening a YouTube channel and I am teaching English learning language as per my capacity due to English. I am paying thanks to English language. I have the ability and I have come through many troubles and many hurdles to achieve this status. I was not surrounded by the English people. I was surrounded by the people who could speak the mother tongue. But I had the ambition and I had fulfilled my ambition of being gold medalist English in English, ME English and I have done a many distinctions in my academic career due to English journey, due to English language, due to my abilities. So in this way you have to calculate and you have to write down 5 to 10 lines daily about your achievements, about your achievements or about your abilities, what you can do. You don't have to focus on the things or the abilities you can't do. Rather, you should have to focus on what you can achieve and how you can achieve. You have to dig out and figure out the possibilities in your life. Don't focus on the impossible things. No, not at all. If you focus on the possible things, it will make your journey smooth. 
and it will make you confident in your English language journey. And while you are speaking, you should focus this thing. You should have appreciation for English. You should not find fault with English language. You should be have an appreciation for English language. That English is a global language, and through this channel, I can achieve many things. This is the number one habit, and you can easily inculcate this habit into your life. The second habit is that you have to write down daily three affirmations. Three affirmations, like. What kind of affirmations you can write? I am on the right track. The second affirmation: My mistakes don't define me. No. I can. I am capable of doing the hard things. People have to hear what I have to say. These kind of affirmations you have to write down at daily basis, and the most. Favorite, like my most favorite affirmation is that I am capable of doing hard things. This affirmation will keep you motivated and inspire you whenever you are in anxiety or depression and whenever you are feeling the lack of confidence. You have to learn and you have to revise this affirmation that I can. I am capable of doing the hard things. Number third daily habit is that you have to write down your future achievements in present tense. Yes, dear audience, write down your future achievements. What you are going to achieve? What is your desire? What is your ambition? What is your goal? And what you are going to achieve in future in present tense? Like, if you want to get a job in English. Company like I am. I want to get a job, a English speaking job. No, you should write down. I am working at a global company and I use English as daily language. This will inspire you. This will motivate you. And these three habits are the biggest tool to build confidence, the unshakable confidence that is required for your English journey. Because in in English journey there are many mistakes. There are There are many hurdles, and if you have this confidence, you can easily overcome all these difficulties. So, with with this positive note, we end this video. Until the next video, stay happy, stay blessed. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.